Rainbow Respawn. I just wanted to say really quick, don't forget to join my Discord server and follow my Twitter for updates and to talk to me. Links are both in the description. Hi, this is Rainbow Respawn. I do not look my best right now. I am sunburned. I am sorry. I don't remember what we were doing. She just told me that I wasn't allowed to leave. Right? I think so. We can't go in there. Okay. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Here we are. This is my playground where I keep all my toys. You have so many. Obviously, I'm a princess after all. Let's go play. Come on. Hey, here they are. Aren't they cute? You have so many. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's play. But I don't know the rules. That's alright. Aglia will explain you the rules. Where does that matter? She can just play it anyway. But I can't hear what Aglia oh. says. I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who catches the most butterflies wins. I see. Sounds fun. I'll go with the cage from the right. You go to the cage. You go to the other cage so we can start. I don't even know. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay. My ears. Okay. Got eight. Good job. You have to say. How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. She doesn't need to know, does she? What, uh, what do you want? Hurry up, it's my turn now. It's your turn now. I'm the best at picking up butterflies, aren't I, Aaliyah? <laughs> You're right, I'm the best at everything. Not that you could ever say the same about yourself, miss. You really can't do anything right, can you? I hate her. I hate her. But if, but it's the truth. You couldn't possibly do anything without me. Besides, someone like you could never ever take my place. Isn't that right, Aaliyah? No, she's not. At least not yet. <coughs> Fleta, what do you want? I don't talk with losers. If you want to talk to me again, you'll have to beat me at hide-and-seek. Oh, but I thought we were friends. And we are friends. I just don't like you very much. Shush, ugly. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's play. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. What? Is she hiding in the entire house? Like, I don't understand. Hi, <laughs> today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad, because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. 1862? Dear diary, I wish I had a twin sister and said... Th that way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with Mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because Father is away. I wish we didn't live far away from town. I never have any... I never have any girls to play with, and Brother ex spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes, either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope Father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on his trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. <coughs> 
Today my tutor fell ill during class. He had what brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he will be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended so early so I could play in the garden, but it started raining so I had to stay inside. It was really boring so I decided to go into mother's room because she isn't there anymore. I don't like mother. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Egliette and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I will never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Eglia doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious father is a boy because he's going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Eglia is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories too. My favorite story is about that time when Eglia had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and they were very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Eglia said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow too. I can't wait. I love Eglia. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining, and the story Egliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid. I hated it. <coughs> my favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play... I will play dress up with Egliette, and we will only wear pink dresses. But I will have to cut my hair because it's too long, and I like it shorter. Whose diary is this? Oh, I freaking wonder. Oh, it was just in there. Ah, oh, there you are. Hmm, took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. Go back to the playground. I'll go back to the playground. You stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. Not that bad. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I'll give you a hard start then, miss. I'll count to 30 so you have more time to hide. Is that alright? Alright. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> can't just hide behind the chair, right? <coughs> I don't know what that says. Oh, I am writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey, but please, <coughs> do not doubt these feelings I harbor you, my precious children. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. What are you doing here? <laughs> but I'm sorry, I just found this room and I didn't... I asked you what you were doing here. <laughs> Answer me. Nothing, I just... You just what? I told you I wanted to stay here. I want you to stay here with me and be my friend and live in my home with me. But all you care about is those selfish lies. I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies. But Fleta, I'm not... You're coming with me, miss. To the place where ill-behaved girls belong. You've been a bad friend, miss. <laughs> Fleta, don't leave me here. Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. <laughs> I need to get out of here. This 
small doll endlessly stares up at the ceiling, silently muttering to herself. Broken not crack her soldier leaves because his eyes have been plucked out. Toys sit quietly lined up on the tallest shelves. Oh, okay. It's really dark in here. Yeah, I know it is. We've all been expecting you, miss. Don't be scared. We're not your enemies. We're just glad you're finally here with us. You're the chosen one. Tell's <laughs> eyes light wildly roll on their sockets as she mutters incomprehensible gibberish. going on? You're finally here. We've been expecting you, miss. You're finally here. She's as beautiful as I thought she would be. Of course she is. She's the chosen one. The chosen one. I need to get out of here. Once was a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day, at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Mabel and Dorothy sworn to be best friends, as close as two peas in a pod. Both had received blessing from God. The twins, Giletta and Isabella, standing as the youngest, and yet said to be the strongest. Madeline was a town liar who, despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. Eventually, they came across a little witch and beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful scenery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. Kind and nice as she was, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, she told them, brandishing the tool in the air. We can share it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. Overwhelmed with joy, the gr five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts, for if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief at its sake. And so the little witch bid them farewell, leaving the girls to partake of her magic. Upon her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. Infuriated by the girls' betrayal, the witch promptly sought out the culprit. She tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared lie to her. Who dared steal my most precious belonging? The witch asked the girls, to which they replied, Madeline didn't. Dorothy always says the truth, cried Mabel. Galetta is a liar. Maybe she stole the wand, screamed Dorothy. Dorothy's innocent. Isabella would never lie, pleaded Galetta. Galetta, whatever. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it, exclaimed Isabella. You can trust Mabel. I'm sure it was Galetta who stole the wand, sounded Mabel in. Whoever the culprit was, she said mercilessly burned to death. It said she was mostly burned to death, pre pleading the forgiveness until her very last breath. <laughs> Who dared steal my most precious belonging? Oh, I ha guess I have to answer it. Quite a box of matches. You must now fulfill your fate, miss. Read it again. Okay. Maybelline was the town liar. Okay.
listen to the door, he always tells the truth. What did Maybelline say? Maybelline may be a liar, but she didn't do it. Isabella. Trust me, well, I'm sure it was the letter that did it. Sure, okay, so. So Mabel didn't do it, and Letta didn't do it. Okay, so Mabel didn't do it, and Galetta didn't do it. Nobody said. Hold on. I don't think Mabel did it. I was a liar, Mabel still so lied. Even if he was innocent, Isabella would never lie. She may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. Trust me, it was better. Nobody said Isabella didn't do it. Um. Okay. That one's ringing my bell. Galetta is a liar. Maybe she stole the wand. Maybelline may be a liar, but... <laughs> Divine punishment has been rightfully administered. So it was Isabella. You have a key. I should have saved. Alright, I'm gonna end this here because the video is getting long. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. If you think I could have done something differently, comment. Subscribe if you like me, and don't forget to press the bell button to get uh, notified on when my next video is. Bye. <laughs>